Hello and welcome to all my fellow colorists. My name is Jody and my channel is called J.I. Colorist. I hope you're doing awesome wherever you live in this big colorful world. And today's video is all about June's completed pages for June 2022. Let's get started. I completed 25 pages this month and we'll start with the first book um, called The Way Home, a Galactic Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. I completed three pages in this book and I used gel crayons for the background along with a gel pen and a stencil. I used glossy accents on the eyes and some stickles in his on his collar and Bambino crayons and a little bit of Signal Silver Gel Pen. I'm having a lot of fun in this book. They're easy pictures. Uh, the paper is thin, so um, it's I'm not spending a whole lot of time on the backgrounds, but I am doing some background. I just find if I leave the page empty, I'm not sure that it's completed. So here's the next one. This hashtag goes for Grogu in 2022, along with Morgan O. Scavenger Hunt 2022, that is hosted by Jojo Zahana, and I'll link her channel in the description. And then I jumped all the way to the end, so the last page of the book. Um, so I did this, and I said, uh, he's found home. So then I did a planet, which is not the earth but you know has some uh, land on it and then just a bunch of smaller fun stamps that were space related a little bit of um, gold uh, gelato and then a, um, I used a, a rubbing tool and did uh, some dark gray ink and of course he has uh, glossy accents for the eyes and that's the way home from Morgan O'Brien the next book is Rory Dobner's The Ink House and I completed a couple of pages in this book and I did them as a buddy color with subscriber Cindy V and so I will show you uh, both of our buddy colors that we did together. I'm using watercolor mediums in this book and the clouds were done with uh, base paste and gelato. So I'm using the Faber-Castell and uh, the Derwent Graphitint and then I did this page and I did some glossy accent for the glass and now I'll show you the next page I did in this book and then I'll show you both the buddy colors together again this was a buddy color done with Cindy she's a subscriber here on the channel and if you want to be uh, do a buddy color along with me then just leave a comment below or find me on Instagram at J.I. Colorist and I'd be happy to do a buddy color with you there. And here are the buddy color pictures. This is the third page from the ink house and I applied some iridescent Winsor Newton iridescent medium to the butterfly to make him sparkly. Uh, the background is done with pan pastels and then I did spray fixative on this page uh, and for now I'll just put a piece of paper in there as well. So those are three completed pages from the ink house by Rory Dobner and I just want to say thank you to, again to Cindy for doing the buddy colors with me. The next 
group of completed pages is A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo. And I have two pages completed this month in this one. So this is done with polychromos, macaron pencils, some gel pen, and a little bit of washi tape here on the corner. Yeah, it looks fun. And this page here, I did put on a Daniel Smith watercolor ground on this page, and I did use uh, watercolor mediums. So the mediums used on this page were Zig Clean Color, Gelatos, and acrylic paint. So the gold in the center of the flowers and a little bit along the tree here is the um, acrylic gold folk art treasure that I picked up from Michael's. And then I also have a little bit of a blue gel pen. But the gelato is the iridescent uh, or metallic gelato. And so there's some nice shine to the page. Okay, so those are the two pages completed in A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo. The next book is also by Lulu Mayo and it is A Million Slaws, Super Creatures to Color. I did three pages in this book. I used gel pen, let me just find it, uh, Prisma colored pencils uh, for a change, some glossy accents, and an ink pad to do a light border. And it's a teapot, so you're seeing into it, so um, the glossy accents really, I think, added a lot to that. And I had the colors matching the opposite page, which had previously been done uh, a month or so ago. So yeah, I'm really happy how this guy turned out. It's super cute. Okay, the next page done in this book is Monstera Leaves. And for this guy, I used the Cratacolor pencils. So those are the large, fat uh, colored pencils some gel pen and an ink pad um, just to do around the edge. A little bit of gel pen where you can see the it's the copper jelly roll on the instruments and such. Oops, sorry. The Creative Color pencils really work well in this book, so And the last page the, in this book is also the last page. And it is, let me just find it, Zig, Cratacolor, and Gelatos. So when I say Zig, I'm talking about the Zig Clean Color Real brush pens. So it's a water-based medium and it has a very fine brush on the end and you can use them. There is no bleed through except for actually there was some bleed through there and that's because I used a bit too many layers of the zig. So when I do this page I'm going to have to, luckily it's green on green leaves but you do have to be careful. And then a uh, dry brushed on gelato for the background. And those are the pages I completed in A Million Sloths. I completed one page from Rita Berman's Land Under the Microscope. And I actually have a tutorial on completing this page. Uh, so there's various tutorials, uh, starting with the translucent wings. 
and then we completed the page so if you're interested in seeing how this page came together I believe there's three um, tutorials on different sections and we completed the page on the channel together so I used polychromos uh, some glossy accents for the eyes and the water droplets some Windsor iridescent medium over top and also a bit of gel pen so I like how the page turned out I'm happy with the results I worked on two Johanna Basford books this month the first uh, one I'll show you is World of Flowers and I completed this book here and I used um, Lori from Color My World uh, the base paste that I made uh, so it's uh, made out of uh, pastels so that's what the background is and then I didn't wasn't really pleased with how it was turning out so I grabbed my uh, Dollar Tree um, glitter markers so these ones here and that's what I did the back ground squiggles in and they're just kind of flashy and then I used for here I am uh, trying out this glaze jelly roll glaze so this is dark green I used there it's really on this page I was just trying out a whole bunch of different mediums so we've got a lot of glitter and some glaze and then for the pencils let me see I used Prismacolor pencils so I haven't I don't generally use my Prismacolors and this month I busted them out and trying trying to use them next month is a uh, water world watercolor month so from this book I have a page coming together there will be a series of probably seven or eight videos uh, so a video each week on one a different watercolor medium done on the same page so that's uh, another reason I only got done 25 pages this month is because I was busy prepping videos for next month so I hope you enjoy that series so the book Joanna Bassard's World of Wonders I also completed a few pages and this is when I was started busting out my uh, watercolors and I was playing with watercolor mediums so on this page it's uh, I first put down a Daniel Smith transparent watercolor ground to protect the page and uh, stop any bleed through now this is not from bleeding through this is from Jody being a messy painter so note to self uh, bleed through might not happen but accidents still will happen luckily this page is also underwater so having blue along here will be easily fixed so so I used uh, Paul Rubens uh, both the glitter and the regular paint I also used a micron pen to draw back on some of the lines I used some glassy accent uh, in the little windows and he's just the cutest shark ever so lots of bling the silver is a uh, fine tech silver watercolor paint and uh, yeah and the gray I used was the zig clean color so that's the first watercolor page from this book and I completed one other page and I did the backgrounds first on both so I did the backgrounds uh, using the Paul Rubens watercolor pans uh, the 48 set and then for the center here I have got um, glitter watercolor down and then I have dotted some stickles as well and a little bit of dots of the iridescent medium so really shine power that's nice um, I've got some glossy accents on the top there and just use a bunch of different watercolors and uh, some glitter on top fine tech gold 
paint down here. And the was zig clean color for the uh, the flowers. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. Um, it does require some movement to get the full effect of of the shine and everything, but uh, still, I think it's a. I love the color palette that I kind of winged chose while I was on the fly, and uh, it turned out really well. The uh, around here is a metallic marker that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So I picked up five different metallic markers and uh, yeah so that was the first time I used it. I was concerned that it might bleed through but since I had already uh, prepared this page with the Daniel Smith watercolor ground it protected uh, the paper anyways. So yeah so really happy with this page. Okay. The next couple of items are postcards. So this one, let's pull it out so no glare, is Hannah Carlson's Seasons. And I was using some Prismacolor pencils that I don't normally use, a little bit of glossy accents, some stickles, some iridescent medium. So yeah, just a uh, fun page and out of my 10 books to touch were one of the books was the Millie Murata's uh, postcards. I've never colored in them and I thought well let's jump right in and so I uh, put a Daniel Smith watercolor ground to protect it and to make it into more of a watercolor paper. And then I used a whole bunch of different watercolor mediums. And I have a video on how I did the background. So there's uh, no talking and it's just a short video uh, to show you how I did the simple background on uh, these postcards coming in July. I outlined with the silver Signo gel pen and some Jelly Roll gel pen but everything is a watercolor medium. And it's either, for this one, I use the Alberter pencils as well as Paul Rubens and some Zig Clean Color. So yeah, really like how that turned out. And now I have touched that uh, Mar Millie Murata's postcard book. A little bit of gold gel pen in the very fine areas, but the rest is uh, Paul Rubens watercolors and also the um, the pink is the Albert Durr watercolor pencils. So I like to mix up my watercolor mediums and use whichever one uh, kind of catches my eye and needs to be done the job. And I always leave this book to last because it's the book that I typically have the most pages done. And I'm on my countdown. Again, credit to Amanda's Joy of Coloring for the countdown idea. I have 29 pages left in my Romantic Country, A Second Tale. So let's take a look at the pages. Now I've got you zoomed out. I might have to Zoom you, yeah, you're, I'll just have to move the page around. This is a double page spread. And I used Polychromos, Stickles, Gel Pen, Windsor Newton Iridescent on top of the uh, pencil and a glitter marker. So this took quite a while to get done like a few days. Um, if, I'll take this out. On her, I've got some stickles on top of the, uh, and in her hair. The sky um, and the background took a few coats to get 
down. So a lot, lots of pencil work and uh, quite a bit of bling. But uh, I think it all came together in the end. So I'm really happy with the results. But uh, double page spreads in this book um, take quite a bit of work. So that's the ball. This page here is the mushroom houses. And I did a buddy color with Disney Meg. And I'll link her channel below. And I'll also show you our completed pages right now. Love the way that Meg's turned out. Thank you very much for coloring with me this month, Meg, and last month. And uh, perhaps we'll continue doing some more in the future. The next house is the tree house. I used Albert Durr watercolor pencils, polychromos, glossier accents on a few of the spots that were um, glass, so on all the jars. I didn't do the windows because there, there was quite a few windows and stuffs, but um, I thought I would get the jars at least. Again, lots of pencil work and some gel pen. And that's this page. I have some uh, light coming down through the windows like um, light beams. They're kind of not picking up too much on the camera, but there you go, you can see some. Tried using a different color palette, but I end up, you know, with a brown tree. So <laughs> it, uh, it still, it was, it was nice. And then I did this single page, polychromos pencils. I used an ink around the outside. And I used a bunch of uh, gel pens. And this is a glitter marker. So I used that in a few spots. But yeah, it was a fun page to do. Tried to keep the color palette fairly um, cohesive so that they all tied together. And I think it worked well. And then this is the last page. It is a double page spread. Let me just get both pages out for you. I used quite a few uh, the glitter. I'll just pull some out. And... So this is the Dollar Tree glitter marker. And that's what is on this purple here and a bunch of purples. I used the Thule Art Gold for the gold there and that worked really well. And I also used the Paul Rubens uh, Glitter Watercolor Paint on a lot of the other, like the rest of the, um, like the orange and the purple. And then the background is done uh, with the gel crayons. So I dry rubbed those on with uh, some brushes and I picked like five bright colors that I thought would kind of go together. And then this guy in the center is a seal. And until I was actually coloring the page, I didn't realize that he was a seal. Just a moment. Sorry about the dog barking. Hopefully I can maybe just cut that part out. Anyways, until I was coloring this, I didn't realize that the center caravan piece here uh, was a seal. So he's actually in a little aquarium here with water and I've got glossy accents and gel pen to uh, around his bubbles and stuff. So a very fun page, lots of mediums. Uh, it took quite a while to do, but those are the pages that are fun and interesting that you can spend some time looking at. So I'll leave that with you there. 
and I hope you tune in next month for all the world watercolor videos that are coming up and until I see you next time have a creative and colorful week bye bye